Could the Solis Barista Perfetta Plus be a DeLonghi Dedica killer? That's what we're gonna look at today in this video. I want to do a brief comparison of these two machines and at the end do a demonstration. And stay tuned until the end and I will give my recommendation whether I think that the Solis is worth the extra money over the DeLonghi Dedica. Before we start the comparison, of course, you have to see what comes in the box. You get this nice little 350 milliliter pitcher, a very nice tamper. This is all metal. So of course, the bottom tamping part is metal and the top part, I believe, is aluminum. Then you also get a cleaning disc for when you go to back flush your machine. That's convenient to have as well. And you get a nice porta filter. I believe it's made out of stainless steel. This is also quite nice and hefty. Finally, this model came with a scoop. It's a pretty nice hefty scoop as well. All right, in addition, the Solis does also come with two baskets, double, that looks like this, and a single. And of course, the advantage of the Solis is that these are non-pressurized baskets. That is quite an advantage over the DeLonghi Dedica because it only comes with pressurized baskets and so you're going to have to buy some aftermarket ones on the internet. Nevertheless, I went ahead and I bought a nicer basket here for the Solis Barista. As it turns out, the basket it comes with is not completely full of holes and so I did prefer to get a better basket for the machine to test it with. The one I got, by the way, is also not ridged, which makes it easier to knock out the pucks. All right, guys, before we go any further into the video, I'd like to ask you if you're getting any value out of this video to please give it a like to push it up and subscribe to the channel. We would like to get more tips and more reviews on coffee machines like this one. All right, you guys, let's get right on into the comparison. So these two machines, they are quite similar in design because they are both relatively small machines. They are both thermoblock and they offer similar features. So they both offer volumetric programming. You can set a dose for a single cup or a double cup. They both offer hot water and they both offer steaming. They're also both pretty similar in startup time. I'm going to start these machines up right now and we will see how long they take to get ready. Um, now, where the machines start to differentiate is uh, in the build quality, I would say, and in a couple of features. So, to begin with, this Solis does come with a proper steam wand to begin with, so you can do really nice milk frothing and uh, therefore latte art with this machine out of the box. The DeLonghi Dedica, on the other hand, unless you get the newest model, used to come with uh, normal Panarello steam wands. I did add this Ranchilio as an upgrade. It would actually be probably a more accurate comparison to compare the brand new EC885 to the Solis over here. Nevertheless, the Dedica is extremely popular and that's why I'm comparing these two here. So this has got a great steam wand. This has got a nice porta filter. Those are two things that separate the machines. Um, one main thing that does separate the Solis is it's got a three-way solenoid valve. So after your espresso shot, it's going to open that three-way solenoid valve to release the pressure off the puck. That is something completely absent from the DeLonghi. The next thing that this Solis offers that's kind of nice is after you have steamed your milk, it does an automatic boiler cool down. So that's a nice convenience feature. The Bambino Plus also does this. The Dedica, on the other hand, does not. Another difference is, although they both have pre-infusion, the pre-infusion on the Dedica is more rudimentary. It just puts water down for three seconds and then waits a couple of seconds before starting the brew. Whereas the Solis, you can tell when it starts, it just uh, does a very low pressure pre-infusion. That may also help you to get a more even extraction without channeling. Okay, and as far as the comparison goes, well, the DeLonghi Dedica can be had in Europe for anywhere around 150 to 200 euros, whereas the Solis Barista Perfetta Plus seems to fetch a price between 350 and 450. So this plays actually more in the league of the Gaja Classic Pro or the Sage Bambino Plus. 
One uh, last thing to mention as a differentiating factor for the Solis is it claims to have a PID. With that being the case, I'm going to take a look later with my temperature probe and do an extraction uh, and check the temperature to see how flat that curve is. Oh, and of course, um, one last obvious difference is that the Solis comes with a manometer, whereas the DeLonghi Dedica does not. All right, let's just go ahead on into the demonstration of the Solis Barista Perfetta Plus and see how it performs. So there's something I wanted to mention about the portafilter of the Solis and that is, as you see here, it's completely metal, which is very nice. But they actually deliver it with this plastic insert and that's something I really don't get. Companies, can you tell me, why do you put this plastic insert inside the portafilters? The DeLonghi Dedica and the DeLonghi La Spezialisaline also still has this plastic insert. And all that does is make the hot water bypass the metal here when you're pulling yourself a blank shot. So that is a shame. You really can't get this warmed up to proper temperature with this plastic insert installed. And uh, luckily they make it so that you can remove it pretty easily. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a shot of espresso. For that, I'm going to use my handy dandy Normcore B2 hand grinder, and I'm gonna add 15 grams. I could use a scoop. I've got the Normcore set at 14. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of WD-10. And we'll go ahead and tamp with the included tamper. Good. And now let's see what kind of extraction we get. Okay. So now, I would say where the Solis Barista Perfetta Plus really shines is in its milk steaming. So that's what we're gonna do next. Let's take a look at the milk steaming mode and how that works. So, steaming mode starting. And almost ready. Let's let out a little condensation. And let's start steaming our milk. This does have nice steam power, but it's not so powerful that you're done too quickly. So it really does give you nice time to incorporate the milk. You see that I've got the tip just off to the one quadrant and I've got the milk spinning. So that looks like it's gonna be some nice creamy milk. And now we are just about hot enough. And now you're going to hear, when I go back to the coffee mode, it cools down the boiler. Look at that nice creamy milk. Ooh. So dump our espresso shot in there and let's pour ourselves a cappuccino. Ooh, that looks delicious. And how does it taste? Mmm. Very creamy milk, nice strong espresso extraction. Uh, the machine does a nice job. 
All right guys, now I'm gonna take this thermometer. So I'm gonna put this on top of the puck like that and put that in the machine. And let's see how flat our temperature curve is. All right guys, so it's time for a facet. Let's first talk about the PID in this machine and how well it works. Now, as you could see, there was a pretty strong drop off from where it started. It leveled off about 78 degrees and that is just too low for espresso. You wanna be between 90 and 93 degrees ideally. So this machine, despite being at the hottest setting is still too low, lower than the ideal. But now let's talk about, is it worth it to buy this over the DeLonghi Dedica? Because that's what a lot of people are gonna be asking themselves. This does cost two to three times the price. Is it worth it? As far as I'm concerned, this is a handsome machine. It comes with a, a really nice quality parts inside. I've opened up the top and looked at it and uh, it's got high quality brass components in there. It seems to be well built. It's got a nice steam wand. It's got a nice port filter. It comes with accessories like the tamper and the pitcher. So for your money, at least you're getting everything you need to start with. But would I say that it makes much better espresso than the Dedica? No, I would say they're pretty much the same. And uh, as far as steaming is concerned, this is a better steamer. So if you're really into milk drinks, then I can recommend this machine. And otherwise, I would say probably just save yourself some money and go for the Dedica. What do you guys think? Write in the comments down below. All right, guys. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say Merry Christmas to all you guys and Happy Holidays and Happy Coffee Drinking.